Dominique is doing some bachelorette festivities. Somehow, I agreed to a booze cruise tomorrow night. my channel and welcome back to another vlog so right now i'm sitting outside of my wax lady's place i'm like out of breath because i just walked all around this plaza so i was i wasn't running late i was actually very early but the bank that's by my house is really inconvenient to get to so i was just like okay i know that the aldi's by my wax lady does cash back i'm just gonna go to aldi's and get cash back so i got a celsius and i went up to the register and i had asked the guy before he like while he was ringing up the person in front of me do you do cash back he said yes but i don't have very much in my drawer i said okay so i just asked him how much can you give me he's like i can give you 40 dollars, and i was like perfect like that's fine i'll just get back in line go to another cashier and then get the rest of the money that i need because i needed 60 for my wax so i get my celsius go grab another celsius and get in line in another woman's register and i just asked her while she was ringing up the lady in front of me again i was like are you doing cash back she says yes and then the lady she was ringing up says well the sign says no cash back and i'm like she already said yes why did you open your mouth to talk to me <laughs> like the cashier said yes like I'm not asking for $300. I'm not treating this like this is Chase. I just needed an extra $20 from this lady. Like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> so right now it's like two, it's 2.16. My appointment's at 2.30. So I'm just parked outside of her spot. Last night, first of all, this is my hair. Last night I did my own tapings and I don't think I'm ever gonna do anything else with my hair. If I can get over the fact that my forehead is massive, I think I'm gonna be a tapin girly. Also, I have to see how the maintenance is on tapins like if it's tedious or not but so far i like them i did them in a way where i can't put my hair up just because i have literally have a tape like right on the like i literally have a tape right here on the edge of my head so i can't put my hair up but that's literally fine because i never wear my hair up anyway and i don't really want the option to i just don't do it it took me like two hours i got i literally got these tape ons tape ons these tape ins off of amazon and i'll link them below but so far like i like them they're light yakky so it like matches with my hair pretty well i did go to the gym and then take a scalding shower so my roots are a little puffy because i did my relaxer maybe two and a half three weeks ago at this point but this is the hair i'm gonna have for my my wedding <laughs> for my vacation where i'm going to a wedding i was like why am i gonna pay 200 something dollars for bundles and then 200 something dollars to get those bundles installed when i can just do my own tapins i want tapins anyway so i did and it's nice and it's lightweight and it's like a good thickness for me i got 22 a 20 and an 18 and of course i like framed the front of my face i didn't do anything with it when i woke up but this is what it looks like. So after I get my wax, I'm gonna go to Panera because I brought my laptop, my headphones, my everything with me. And um, 
I am going to get some work done. I have to edit. I have to make arrangements for my vacation. I need to um, figure out how much it's going to cost to park my car at JFK for five or six days. I can't remember how long I'm going to be there. And then I have to contact the resort and let them know my flight information so they can pick me up and take me to the resort. And then at the end of the vacation, they're going to take me from the resort back to the airport, which is really good. So I need to sit down and write that email. And there was one other thing I had to do that I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, right now I'm just waiting outside of my wax lady's place. And yeah, I will see you guys when I'm out of there. I'm not gonna film in there, of course. I don't like filming when I'm like getting services like that because I don't want to feel like I'm invading like their space. I think like today I'll ask if next time I can vlog, maybe she'll say yes. And also my coochie gonna be out and it's gonna be painful and I don't want y'all to see me like that. But you will see me, when next time you see me, my coochie will be bald and we're gonna be on our way to Panera Bread because I have some serious work to do. My last video went up yesterday and I knew that when I posted a haul that no one was gonna watch it because you guys really only like my BTV and like a regular vlog. But um, like content e videos like that, you guys don't really like do you guys don't really run the numbers up like that. So I knew it wouldn't do well, but I do want to start vlogging every week. Um, I'm going to call, I think I want to call this like off day diaries or day off diaries or something because I don't like vlogging on the days that I work because I feel like so much of my vlog is going to be, hey guys, I'm going to work. Hey guys, I just got back from work. Hey guys, I'm going to the gym. And then when I come back from the gym, I'm gonna shower and get ready for work. I just got back from work. Like, I don't wanna do that to you guys for a full week, which is why I don't weekly vlog. But I can show you guys what I do on my off days because I am active on my off days. Like, I get stuff done. So that is probably what I'm gonna do. So help me decide on a name, like day off diary. Like I'm, di I'm between day off diaries or off day diaries. Um, they're essentially the same, but to me, I feel like off day, day off diaries probably sounds better. Cause I don't want to call it a weekly vlog when it's only two days out of my week, you know? I mean, but it, see like, that's what confuses me. Is it a weekly vlog because you post them weekly or is it a weekly vlog because you vlogged your whole week? Because if it's the former, no, if it's the latter, then I could still call it a weekly vlog. But if it's the former, hmm. So yeah, I'm just waiting to go inside and I will see you guys when my coochie is bald and we're going to Panera. right now <laughs> well me and lisa had like a crazy conversation today we were talking about my cousin who killed her husband we we're talking about like um just like crime because she was bringing up like how her her brother lives in like a sketchy neighborhood with his wife and i was like yeah listen to this sketchy like there was just a serial killer out in like kansas or like a um he like kidnapped her or something and we were just like talking about it and then we got on the subject of my cousin and it was like insane but I love Lisa, that's my girl, and um, I didn't realize I lived so far from the wax place. I just put in my GPS, it's 40 minutes, and there's no traffic so far at all. So I'm like, I live this far away, and I feel like I don't live this far away. I mean, it makes sense, because I stopped at Paramus Park before I went to get my wax, because I wanted food real quick, and Paramus Park is like 20 minutes from me, 25, and then it took like an extra 15 minutes to get to to Lisa's so I'm like that makes sense <laughs> like just doing it in a straight shot because I always usually like make a stop before I go I'm like 40 minutes that's kind of crazy but yeah right now I'm on my way to Panera um we have to edit so I'm literally gonna start editing the vlog that you're literally watching right now because I need to get ahead of the game like Troy Bolton no he was his head was in the game oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Did he even sing that song? Was that Troy or was that Chad? 
I feel like that was Chad. Damn, ignore me. For someone who watches kids' content all the time, you would think I would know that. Yeah, I'm on my way to Panera. I'm gonna get something light because I probably shouldn't be spending money like that. Anyway, I just spent $60 to get my coochie ball. So maybe I should be a little, uh, plus I got parking tickets to pay off. If y'all don't know my parking ticket story, I'll tell it one day, but no girl got tickets. Oh, thank God. This car in front of me was going 10 miles an hour. I'm lying, it was going 70, but like, why are you going so slow? <laughs> my bad. All right, so I'll see you guys when we're on our way, to, when, our, when we're at Panera, because I don't want to be driving and vlogging. That feels unsafe. So I'm on my way home and no lie, I think I was in there for like three hours. Um, and I feel bad because all I got was a bagel that I like ate half of and a green tea that I still have most of. I was just so focused on my work. The other thing that I was supposed to do, by the way, was um, the student loan forgiveness application, which I didn't do. I'm gonna go home and do that. I just felt like, damn, I'm taking up so much of these people's time and a table for like one bagel. I'm gonna go home. But um, so I did send out the email for um, my flight information so that they can come and pick me up from the resort and drop me back off at the airport. So I sent them all my flight information, what airport I was coming from and whatever. And they were like, okay, cause the email said it would be free. But the email said it would be free transportation for anyone staying over for like four or more nights. And I was like, oh, I'm staying four nights. That's perfect. Um, and then, so I sent out my information, like which airport I'm coming in from. And they're like, ooh, not that airport. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> so it's gonna be a hundred dollars, but I don't have to pay that until I check out um, from the resort, which is fine. But I was like, God damn it. <laughs> so um, right now I'm on my way home. I talked to my mom for a little bit because that's my home girl. But one thing, I'm really glad I did look at my flight information because I realized when I checked out, like when I bought my plane ticket, I didn't add any checked bags to my, um, to my flight. So I would have pulled up with my bag and they would have been like, um, what the f So I have to pay $60 for my bags or my bag. I'm trying to do one bag and one carry on. Um, one checked bag and one carry-on so that I can edit on the plane because I'm gonna be vlogging literally everything um, So yeah, and also I found a cute little boutique that sells dresses and I'm like, oh my god I need a dress for the wedding. That's perfect. Like I looked at the stuff in the window I was like, Ho so hopefully it's not too expensive I'm gonna go in there like maybe next weekend or not next weekend But over the weekend just to see like what they have what their prices are like because why am I about to order a dress when I could just go down the street? And pick one up so yeah right now I am on my way home I'm gonna go home and cook I bought some chicken um, at Target earlier so I'm gonna eat that so I'm gonna make like some sort of like a Asian inspired I'm gonna make chicken and rice but it's like the sticky rice um, and ooh, and I think I also bought some like dumplings or like wontons I think I can't remember what I bought they're either dumplings or wontons and I'm gonna make those too but to be completely honest I really don't feel like making um like making chicken right now so I might just like make some wontons and have some rice and like call it a day because I'm really not in the mood to do all of that plus I have to straighten up my apartment a little bit I did my hair last night and I didn't finish until like one in the morning so I like there's still stuff on the ground like I'm pretty sure there's the backings like to some of my tapes on the ground <sighs> so yeah I have to do that when I get home and then I think it's just relaxing from there on so see you guys when we get home so I am home I'm literally just in bed editing she heard me talking so here she comes but yeah I've literally just been home editing because I'm so excited about this new video. My editing, I'm like putting more time and effort into it and it's like, I'm actually really liking the results. So I just got home, I got excited about editing. I did make wontons, I didn't eat any rice, and I didn't make any chicken. 
I was gonna make the rice, but I didn't have any eggs to like fry the rice. And I was like, there's no, like, what's the point of eating fried rice without egg? The egg is like the best part. So I just made the wontons. So right now I am just going to head to bed. This one is begging me to go to sleep. So that's what we're gonna do. And I will see you guys in the morning when it's time to go to the gym. <laughs> so it is several hours later um you guys saw me leave the gym i wanted to vlog but i went at like 9 a.m so there was a lot of people in there and i didn't want to bother anybody um or get anyone in my shot because you not guys know i censor people out if they don't know that i'm filming or if they're just in the back of my shot i censor them but i just got ready i'm going to go back to panera because i have a little bit more of a vlog to edit but then i also have to plan my week out and plan out my content because i haven't been doing that um, I have, have like two empty weeks in my planner and I don't like that. So we're going to go to Panera, get something to eat and do some work. And then we're going to come home. I'm debating filming a chit chat. I kind of don't want to film anything today. I just kind of want things to be a rest day. Um, Cause I feel like the pressure to be on go all the time. But right now I'm just like <sighs> doing what I can. So we're going to Panera and we are going to go get some work done. So I will see you guys there. Hey, I'm in my neighborhood. I just got a ticket on my car because it says it's residential parking. But like nowhere does it say that this is residential parking. It just says Thursday 9 to 11, no, um, Thursday 9 a.m. to 11, no parking. But today is Tuesday. It doesn't say anything about it being residential. So I'm gonna go to the police department and like fight this because what the hell? So that's where I'm on my way to first because that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, like it doesn't say anything about, cause I have New York plates. I live in New Jersey. I'm just not able to get um, Jersey plates on my car, but nowhere, there's no sign marking that this is residential parking. So like, where am I supposed to put my car? Where am I supposed to put my car? Like, I literally, like, I live across the street. So yeah, I'm on my way to fight this ticket because this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm so sick of this. I have hundreds of dollars in tickets literally just for parking in my effing neighborhood. Like, this is so stupid. <sighs> Over it. Oh, write down your name, add the phone number and email. Yeah. So I'm leaving the police station. I was really only in there for like five minutes. But apparently from 9 a.m. to 11, it's residential parking. But there's no marking on the side of the street that I was parked on. There was no marking indicating that that was the case. And he was like, well, do you have a parking pass? I'm like, no, I don't. And um, I just told him my situation. Like since my co-signer on my car, my mom lives in New York. I'm not able to get my registration transferred over into New Jersey since she still lives in New York. So I don't have a parking pass. They won't give me one. I brought in my lease and everything, but I live directly across the street. And they were like, well, 9 a.m. to 11 is residential parking. And I said, "There's on where I parked, there was no anything indicating that that was the case. And he's like, okay, well, write down like your, your name, your address, your phone number, your email, and we'll contact you. He said he set me up for a court date over Zoom on November 30th, but like, over, but like, I should for 4 p.m. or something like that. I'm like, I shouldn't even have to do all that. Like, I should just get if I brought my lease and my ID stating hi, I'm the person that is on this lease. Why do I have to have New Jersey registration to be able to to uh? to park my car at my house. Like I purposefully didn't park on like directly in front of my house because they had put up signs saying like no parking 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. for tomorrow. And I was like, okay, there's no guarantee that I'll be out of the house by 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm just gonna park on this street where I know I won't get a ticket because the sign says 
um, because the sign says uh, no parking Thursday, uh, 9 a.m. to 11. Sorry, I'm trying to navigate this traffic. I usually don't drive over here, but I had to turn around. But yeah, they said the sign said no parking Thursday, 9 a.m. to 11. So I was like, oh, perfect. I'll just park here because I know I won't get a ticket here if I wake up late tomorrow. And I come back to my car and there's a ticket. Like, it's, I've been like at this apartment, like I, I'm having my own issues as to where I can't move out of this apartment. I'm gonna have to renew my lease. But like I've been having parking issues since I moved here. I've been having parking issues since I moved here. I signed an 18 or 19 month lease and I have been having parking issues since I moved here. Like it's ridiculous. I've There's no way I've paid less than 30 parking tickets since I moved here. And some of them are $30, some of them are $45. It's just frustrating because it's like, I live here. I live here and I can't even park. Like I got my car towed in the winter time because of the snow. Like, and they towed my car before it even started snowing. They just thought it would be in the way of the snow plow or that I wouldn't be back to it by the time it started snowing. And that cost me $300. Like I've definitely no no doubt spent over like $2,000 in just parking tickets and towing fees. Like it's ridiculous. And some of it of course is my fault. Like sometimes I'll get to my car by like 8.05 and um, you know, they already got a ticket on it. Like that I understand if I didn't move my car on time, but why am I getting tickets just for parking outside my house? I live here like it's ridiculous so I'm just frustrated because it eats up all my money and it's like as much as I'm paying in parking tickets I could be in a better apartment in a better neighborhood it's just I have other circumstances going on as to why I can't move out so I don't know I'm just like frustrated because it's like damn I'm like I can't win for losing man like I can't do anything it's just frustrating it's eating up all my money and I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed, I really am. <sighs> so yeah, that's my situation right now. We're still going to Panera. Like, I don't hate my apartment, eh, sort of. I don't hate my apartment like that. I just hate the neighborhood. I hate the neighborhood and I hate the circumstances as to where I am. Called the police department just to clarify like can I just bring in my ID and my lease and I can can I get a parking pass and they're like no like I can give you a my gas light just came on like I can give you a temporary parking pass for 30 days but you have to figure it out and like I, I literally can't like the only I've I went through this like uh, I want to say like a year ago but it doesn't even feel like a year ago but I know it was I went because I was still at like one of my old jobs but like I went through this and there's literally nothing I could do like I would in order to get my registration transferred over to New Jersey I would have to get a whole new car in my name and I can't afford that. My credit isn't good enough for that. It'll be like $800 a month. Like I explored literally all of my options. Like I drove to Albany. I drove to like, I don't even remember where in New the depths of New Jersey to try and figure this out. Like I'm not able to do anything about it. So I'm just gonna keep getting tickets until I literally move, but I'm in another circumstance where I can't move. So I'm just like frustrated. Like I'm just gonna have to, I don't know. I really don't even know. Cause there's like, where can I park my car? Like if I can't park directly in front of my house from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, and then I can't park on residential streets from nine o'clock to 11, am I just supposed to be out of the house for three hours every single time I have an off day? or every single time I have to work like later in the day, I just still have to get up early and be out of the house for three hours because I just cannot find, I don't have a place to park my car. Like that's ridiculous. <sighs> I'm just frustrated. I'm very frustrated.
so i am home from panera right now i'm just sitting on my laptop and watching youtube videos but i want to tell you guys about my toxic job situation because i know i said i was going to make a full video about it before but honestly i one i don't want to cause any problems with any of the people who still work there um i do know those people personally and i don't want to ruffle any feathers with that but this is essentially what happened um at the end okay so at the end of may i discovered that my boss was stealing my overtime so what does that mean that means any let's say i worked 42 hours in a week my boss told me that anything over 40 hours so those two hours would be carried over into the next week and then that following week i would only have to work 38 hours because those two hours from last week were being bounced over into the following week this used to be done because company the company like years and years and years prior if you worked anything over 40 hours those like so if you worked 42 hours in a week those two hours of overtime would be half pay so if you're they were salaried before but if your salary translates to like let's say twenty dollars an hour those extra two hours that you went over into overtime would be ten dollars an hour versus your regular 20. So they used to move those two hours into the following week so that the employees were still getting full hourly pay for the work that they were doing, which even though it benefited the employees was still illegal. So when the policy changed and my position became um, hourly with overtime being time and a half she would move my hours over into the following week and instead of getting time and a half i'd get my regular hourly rate so instead let's say i was making 20 dollars an hour i wasn't but let's say that i was those extra if i worked 42 hours that week those two hours instead of getting 30 dollars an hour for overtime for time and a half she would bounce it over into the next week and then i would get my regular 20 dollars an hour so I would be losing out on money. That's what she told me she was doing. But the case was she would actually just go into the system and anything that I had worked over 40 hours, she would just delete. So she would say that like if I worked 42 hours that week, she would give me like a three hour break versus my regular one hour break on a given day so that it reduces my hours so that I wouldn't get paid out for that overtime. Like she would edit the timesheets so that it didn't look like I was going over hours, but I was. She didn't ever tell me not to go overtime because she knew that what we needed to be done, like what we needed to do in the store required us to go overtime but she didn't want it to reflect in the paperwork that that's what we were doing i personally think it was all optics she wanted to look good to her boss like look at how much they get done in only 40 hours when in reality that's not what was happening we were going into overtime so she would edit our time sheets i had reported it to hr at the end of may and i had fought through to the beginning of july with hr to get our money back because it didn't just happen to me it happened to a couple of other people as well who were going into overtime and that's a big part of the reason why i wasn't posting because it just had me so stressed out going back and forth with hr emails and phone calls and all of that and at the end of it all they had decided to keep her even though she was falsifying timesheets which is super illegal um they had decided to keep her in the company and i was like okay if you're keeping her i have to go because i'm not gonna stand for working in a company that allows that to happen and then opens the door for it to happen again and it did happen again so she did finally get fired but that was like a week after i had left that job yeah that's why i wasn't posting i was very stressed out and i just wanted to include it in a vlog versus in its own separate video because i didn't want to make it like this big drama expose i just wanted to let you guys know like i was stressed out and i really did have to leave that toxic situation and yeah i just decided to add it here so that's what happened <laughs> so for the rest of the night like honestly right now i'm just watching youtube videos on my tv and i'm on my laptop um i think i'm going to like edit a little bit more um and then take like a quick nap 
and then get up and meal prep so you guys are gonna see that maybe honestly do i want to cook not really i honestly just want to like chill for the rest of the night but i know i have to cook food for tomorrow because i don't want to um i don't want to have to order food for lunch tomorrow so i'm gonna cook i think i'm gonna make more of those wontons and i have some rice in the fridge and that chicken because i know i don't have enough rice to make like a full good meal with just rice and wontons so i might actually make that chicken too and then i think after that officially we're going to chill so yeah just wanted to give you guys that update on why i didn't post <laughs> This is what I packed myself for lunch tomorrow. This little one is what I'm about to eat now. And then this one just has the leftover chicken in it. So I'm just gonna eat this and then we can do a little bit of cleaning and then relax for the rest of the night. <laughs> 